Hi everyone, so today I created this Valentine's Day look and it's just like a pink smoky eye with like a pink highlight, pink inner corner and like a very like neutral lip. So if you guys want to see how to recreate this look, then just keep watching. Oh, and also this is a talk through video and it's, I don't know, I obviously never done that before so if you guys like it better than the voiceovers then let me know because my friend was like, you should do, you should do a talk through because you always do voiceovers blah blah blah. And I was like, okay, I'll do it. But I woke up like an hour ago, so my voice sounds like kind of messy. It's okay. All right, let's get right to the video. Hi, guys. Okay, so I went ahead and just did one eye off camera, and I did my brows, because obviously what I do on one eye is going to be the same on the other. So, sorry if my voice sounds weird, but I just woke up, like, not that long ago, so... Okay, that's the eye. And now I'm just going to be doing the same thing on this eye. So first thing I'm going to be doing is setting my lid. Sorry if you can hear all that noise, but I have like a table with all of my stuff on it next to me. Okay, so first I'm going to be um, setting my lid with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the number 20. And I'm just going to be using this. What kind of and I'm just blending that all over. My friend told me to do a top three, so girl, this is for you. Okay. And for eyeshadow, I'm going to be using my Morphe 35S palette and 35U palette. The first one I'm going to be using is the 35U palette. And so I'm going to be going in with like these bright pink colors. I'm going to use a white as my base just so that the colors come up more pigmented and just brighter. Versus using my regular like setting powder. Just so that all, like I said, comes out more pigmented. Okay, where the heck is my brush? My stuff is everywhere. So when I go in with that white color, I'm going to be using this, another concealer brush by um, Real Techniques, and I'm just setting all of the concealer. Okay, I know this looks a little ashy, but it's okay. After that's all set, I'm going to be going in with my Morphe M441 brush. This is like the brush that I use for everything. And I'm going to be going in with this like light pink shade. And I kind of just mix the two because they're basically the same thing. Now I'm just putting this all over my eye. Sorry if you can hear noise. My freaking brother's playing video games and he's so loud. Oh my god, sorry, excuse my ratchet nails, but I had to take my nails off because they were all falling off already, so it's like, okay, I just gotta take them all off. And you know how when you have your nails on for too long, you get the, like that crease from when they're growing back? Not crease, I don't know what the heck it's called, but anyways, indention, I guess. It looked really bad, and I was like, I cannot have that show when I'm filming because that's gonna look nasty. So I tried to paint them, but I suck at painting nails, so. This still ended up looking bad anyways, but oh well. Okay. Now, with a denser brush, my Morphe M51 brush, I'm going to be going in with my the S palette and using this hot pink right here. And I'm putting that like in my crease. See how that just brightens up the look? Okay, after that I'm going back in with my M441 brush and just blending that.
Now going back in with the U palette, I'm going to be using a base shadow brush, but it's like really like thin and dense, so I use this like for my crease. I don't know if you can see, but it works really good in the crease. So now I'm going to be going in with this hot pink, but it's a little like darker than the other one that I just used. So I'm going to be putting that in the crease. After that, I'm just going to go back in with the M441 brush and again, blending it. Now I'm going to be cutting my crease so I have somewhere to put the glitter. Okay, so now I'm going to be going in with the same concealer that I used earlier. And I'm going to be using a angled brush by Morphe. It doesn't have like a number on it. It's just a basic flat brush. And I'm putting some of that on my hand. Let me get a little close so y'all can see. You don't have to put a lot of concealer because you're going to be going in with glue. So either way, this part's going to be covered. I just like to do it as like, a, like an outline so I know where I'm putting my glue. But you can totally skip this step if you know what you're doing. Alright. Now that that's done, with the same brush, I'm going to be going in with glue. Where the heck? Oh my god, I keep losing all my stuff. Okay, so now I'm going to be going in with Glitter Glue by Too Faced. And I'm going to be applying that with the same brush. And I'm going to go ahead and show the glitter that I'm using just so like, I don't have to keep, I don't have to keep going back and forth. I'm going in with the Face and Body Glitter by NYX and the name Rose. And what I'm going to do is, oh crap. I'm gonna drop it. I'm gonna be pouring the glitter into the the lid. Okay, that way I don't have to keep doing that. I can just dip my brush. And the brush I'm gonna be using to apply that is the it's my Morphe G15 brush, and it's just a flat brush that I'm gonna be using to like press on the glitter. What, mommy? Okay, so I'm doing a talk through this time, Jesse. Okay, so now I'm putting the glue. Now I'm putting the glue on the same spots I had the concealer. What I, re what I recommend is as soon as you apply this, some people like to wait to let it like get tacky. Not me because I feel like if you apply the glitter as soon as you put on the glue it just helps the glitter stay in place and it, I don't know I just feel like it helps more that's just me I hope I don't drop this glitter Okay, this is super messy, so FYI, if you're doing this before, um, if you're doing this after you have your face makeup on, you should probably like put a napkin or something under because this will get everywhere. Literally, you can see it on my cheeks. Can you? I don't know, but it's on my cheeks. Okay, 
Now I'm gonna be going back in with the crease color that I use and just kind of going over that to deepen it a little more. That and it takes off any glitter that I had like on top. Okie dokie. Now I don't want to do a wing liner because I feel like it takes away from the glitter and stuff. So what I'm going to be doing, I'm just going to be applying like a thin layer of eyeliner just like outlining my, I don't know, just outlining my eye. Because when I put on false eyelashes without the liner, I feel like you can see the separation and it freaking bugs me. So I'm just going to be doing that. Oh, and this is my L'Oreal Infallible Super Slim Liner. And this is a has like a really felt tip, so it's good. And I'm just lining. You see how I just lined that? All right. Now I'm gonna be going in with my Lily Lashes and guys, I lost an eyelash. Oh my gosh, I found it, okay. Okay, so I'm gonna be going in with my Lily Lashes in Miami. This, this is what they look like. I don't have mascara on yet, so. And I'm just gonna be using my Duo Lash Glue in clear. I think that's good. Now I'm going to be doing my face. <clears throat> I'm going to be using my Smashbox Photo, from Photo Finish Primer Water. I'm just bring that a little bit. Okay, so my foundation routine basically hasn't changed at all. But first thing, like always, I'm going to be using this concealer palette by Makeup by Design. And I'm just using these same colors like always and covering up my pimples. I just popped this pimple this morning, which I probably shouldn't have done because now it looks red and nasty. But whatever. I have pimples. Deal with them. Gotta deal with them. So. Um, see, this is why I don't do talk throughs because. Mm -mm. Alright, for foundation, I'm going in with my Makeup Forever HD foundation in the number 122 and then it says equals Y415 I don't know what that means but that's what it is I'm just putting that all over my face my baby hairs. Just gonna put a headband on. And to blend that out, I'm gonna be using my beauty sponge. I'm gonna be using the Mario Badescu rose water to just dampen it. This foundation is so good, y'all. Oh, and today, I don't know how I usually go in with my professional primer. I don't know, I just decided to not go in with it because I feel like it makes me oily sometimes. But I mean, it works good because you can't see my pores, but today I was just like, nah. Didn't feel like doing it. Now 
dog. See, look at this freaking foundation. It's so good. My forehead is always the hardest part for me to do because I'm scared I'm going to like wipe off my eyebrows. See, kind of like I did there. <laughs> I'm gonna go with this side and do that. I'm going in with the same concealer to fit me in the number 20. Putting that under my eye. Okay, before I set that, I'm gonna go in with my NYX Contour Wonder Stick. And I just use the, the contour set, I don't use the, the concealer. Okay, so I found out that, the, that this technique works really good with my cheeks because my cheeks are kinda like low, but I like to make them look perky and like higher and like lifted or whatever. So when I do like the duck face, I tend to go in higher instead of going where my actual like cheek is. I don't know. You'll see. Okay, so see how my fingers are down here? I go up a little higher and do that. See that? So my cheeks are gonna look higher than they than they really are. And I do the same thing over here. See? My cheeks already look higher. It's not even blended out yet. And under the lip, so your lip looks bigger. All right, I'll blend it out. And this is just a base for my powder concealer. All right, so I'm gonna go in with a smaller sponge and with my Laura Mercier powder, and I'm just gonna set my under eyes. Just my under eyes, I'm not gonna get it anywhere else. Cause I don't want it to get in my bronzer. And you know, mess it up. But I am putting it like right here. And around. Around my nose, and right here. All right, on the bridge of my nose. Oh my God, I'm getting sick. Okay, so I'm gonna put some of that powder on the lid, Ugh. and I'm using this like puffy thing. I don't know. I got this at Walmart for like two dollars, and I had the Laura Mercier one, but I lost it, and it was smaller anyway. So I'm putting up, just pressing that in because in Valentine's Day, and you don't want to get makeup on your boyfriend's shirt. So, because one, that's embarrassing, and two, that's nasty, and he's not gonna want to hug you or anything. My boyfriend's taller than me, so that always happens. And good thing he does get mad, but still. All right, so now I'm going with bronzer, and I'm going to be using the same one on always. This thing is so ratchet and ugly. I'm sorry, but it's the Bronze Booster by Philip Physicians Formula, and I'm using my Morphe. This is just like a fluffy brush. It doesn't have a number on it, but. Ugh.
Yeah. See what I mean? And on my forehead. All right, now I'm gonna contour my nose with the same bronzer. And I'm gonna be using this, it just says beige eyeshadow brush, but it's by Real Techniques and it's just like dense, kinda like the same one that I used earlier for my crease. And I'm just you know doing that. I'm still learning how to do this, okay, so sorry if it looks bad, but whatever. I'm still learning, give me a break. I've never done it with the cream, so it looks kinda dark, but We'll see. All right, so now I'm gonna carve out my cheekbones with my sponge and some more powder. Ooh. And I kind of just bring it this way to like bore my cheeks. Alright, now for blush, I'm going to be going in with my Wet n Wild Color Icon um, Blush in Mellow Wine. This is the color. I'm going to go very lightly with this because I'm going to be going in with pink highlighter. And I don't want to have like too much. Oh, spoke too soon. Y'all, this is my favorite part. Doing makeup. I think I've said that like a lot of times already, but it's okay. I think I say that in like every video. <laughs> All right. Now I'm gonna go in with this elf brush and sweep away the powder and everything. Do that. And just kind of blend my blush because I want a little too hand on it. I'm just diffusing it a little because I put too much. All right, so I know you're not supposed to put a liquid on powder, but we're gonna test this out, okay? Okay, so I'm gonna be using my Anastasia Moonchild highlighter and pink heart but for some reason like anytime the times that I've used it it doesn't come out bright pink like I want it to so I'm gonna try something new and I'm gonna be using my NYX liquid illuminator born to glow and then in the color summer beam and first I'm gonna be spraying my face oh my god my lamp almost fell I'm going to be spraying my face with the Urban Decay um, All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray Just so my face isn't like completely dry, matte, whatever Alright, now with my sponge I'm going to be putting that on Oh, my freaking mirror's all dirty Yeah, I'm, I'm the worst Can y'all see that? Dang, this looks good on its own. Yeah, I forgot how good this was. Look at that. Dang, 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 dang. All right. <sighs> okay, so with the fan brush, I'm gonna be using Pink Heart, like I said. And we're gonna see how that applies now. Is it looking? Okay, let's try this. Oh wow, that does look pink. Okay, not on camera, but it looks pink. Oh my God, I went in, I went in ham just there. Oh. It looks so, it looks so pink. Oh, you can't see it on camera, but it looks pink. It worked. 
Okay, oh, I forgot to put some on my nose. I almost put blush on my nose. I'm gonna live. Don't forget to keep it bow girl. Okay. Urban Decay Moondust palette. And I think I'm gonna be using which one should I use? Oh. I think I'm gonna be using Spectre. I still have a thing from the mirror. Ugh. I'm gonna be using Spectre. And first I'm gonna be wetting. I'm gonna use the same, I'm gonna use the same brush. And I'm applying this in my inner corner. I've never really used this before. Oh, it looks just like my highlight. Cool. It's literally the same color as my highlight. Now I'm gonna be doing the eyeshadow under my eye. And I'm basically repeating the same steps. Oh my god, my phone is playing on my phone. Okay. I'm doing the light pink first. I'm gonna be using my Maybelline Last Lash Sensational. And it's not waterproof because I hate waterproof mascara so much. I'm gonna be using my NYX lip liner in Sandstorm. And I'm gonna be lining my lips. Okay, so I don't want a bright lip because I feel like my eyes are already pretty bright. So I'm just going, I'm just doing like a neutral lip. So I'm going in with my um, Milani Bahama Beige. Same lipstick that I always use. And over that to make it like shiny. I'm gonna go in with this Maybelline Shine Shop uh, lip gloss and it's just clear. Oh, I put too much on. I always put too much on. But do you see how like simple the lips are? All right, now I'm just spraying my face. Okay, so this is the final look. Oh, I don't know. I really like it. I probably am going to do this makeup look on Valentine's Day. But I don't know what I'm wearing yet, but... <sighs> okay, so yeah. If you guys like this look, then please subscribe and like the videos. Also, today I filmed an eyebrow tutorial because some girls from my school were like, you should do eyebrow tutorial, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, okay, I'll do it. So, I don't know if that one will be up before this one, but if it's not, then it's going to be right after this one. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye, guys.